What's up, guys? Welcome to pregame for February 13th. Let's call this one Stay Connected. We're talking about being close, staying close to God. Let's get right into it. We've got four verses to get through. First one is Isaiah 55, 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. While. While. Uh, next one, James 4, 8. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. You double-minded. Third one is Psalm 145, 18 and 19. The Lord is close to all who call on him. Yes, to all who call on him in truth. He grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries for help and rescues them. And then the last one is Hebrews 11:6. And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. There's um, Those last two kind of have uh, similar requirements for approaching God, right? First of all, we've got to believe that he exists and Hebrews 6 says he rewards those who sincerely seek him Psalm says to all who call on him in truth what are we talking about here we're we're talking I think he's trying to eliminate and first of all let me let me just say that if you're throwing up a prayer to God um, this is not speaking against that I I God is the uh, judge of sincerity. So don't hear that and say, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. By all means, pray. <laughs> okay, but I'm trying to get you away from the Hail Mary pass that we call out for when we didn't study for a test and we're like, God, please help me with this. And I promise that I will insert probably something you won't do at some later point right or um we're away from god and we're you know the the i don't want to say meaningless because everything matters but the inconsequential things that we tend to throw that hail mary pass up for when we need something quickly right um and he's saying the anti to approaching God is one that requires belief and secondly requires sincerity. Does that eliminate some of the things that we're talking about? I'm not I like I said, I'm not going to be the one to say yes or no, but I would say that God's word is always clear, right? So, and that's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to bash how you're praying or what you're praying for. Here's what we want to accomplish is this, this, this other part. Sincerely seeking him. That's what this is about, okay? We've, we've got to understand that this is a daily relationship. It's a, a relational thing that we have with God. And he wants sincerity out of it. If we're going to ask him for things, we've got to believe and we've got to have that relationship with him, right? So, I would say that then. The things that we've been talking about for the last 12 days all come into play right here when we're seeking out God to stay connected. We're talking about prayer. We're talking about not just prayer. I, I love that uh, one of our leaders, one of our uh, high school leaders, uh, the high school leader, <laughs> TC, has got a little thing that he does. It's, it's 
just kind of a mind trick, but it really is helpful. And I've, he said this about three years ago uh, when I had heard it first from him. And it's pretty cool because it's pretty helpful in just a little reminder. And it's that he'll pray every time he walks through a door. If you're at school, you're walking in and out of doors all day, right? It's pretty cool, pretty helpful. Staying in that connection with him and just bringing him into everything, right? Just, ah, here comes math. God, please help me through this hour and a half, 45 minutes, whatever it is. Just help me to, to honor you. Help me to stay awake. Help me to, you know what I mean? When we, when we focus more on putting him in every aspect, that's sincere. We, we can bring to him the, the uh, menial things that, you know, they just, it's part of my day. But when we're drawing him and asking him to be a part of those things, that's significant. That is significant. The other, the other kind of side to this that I wanted to hit on quickly is that there is also that day where for whatever reason we're not doing what we know the Lord has called us to do. We're living for us that day or maybe more than just a couple days that type of thing. But here's what I would say to you about that. First of all, he has a special word for you, and I'm going to share it with you in just a minute. But the other thing that I would say to you is that the distance between you and God in those moments when we're not living for him is irrelevant. Actually, distance is irrelevant for him, right? So the the actual distance is zero, but the perceived distance when we're living a lifestyle that doesn't honor him is, is what keeps us from him and from what he has for us that day. So, um, what, how do we fix that? How do we fix it? I mean, first of all, a daily living for him is the correct way, but what is the, what is the term he used for us to turn that back around? It's pretty, it's pretty significant. It's a, actually he used a military term and it is the process of turning toward or turn to is the uh, translation. It's repent. You've all heard it, right? Repent is to turn to in this instance, turn to God with the emphasis on turning toward Him, not an emphasis on turn away from or don't touch that. You see the difference? You may not, but here's the power behind it is that we can in and of ourselves necessarily, usually, probably not, turn away from something that we're stuck in and I'm not going to get specific in that other than just the human things that we get stuck in in life in our minds in our daily lives that we should not be doing right we'll call it sin as a blanket we get caught in those things he it's not a call to turn away it's a call to turn toward the power is in when we focus on God and ask for him for help and and it's a that same word again sincerely seeking him because we love him and want to obey him it's not ah oh, man I messed up again I should not be doing that there's more power in just turning to him and letting him deal with it because what did he say right there? Hebrews 11, 6. And that he rewards those who sincerely seek after him. So I would submit to you that that is the way that you are going to have um, victory in the things that you're struggling against. 
okay? The things that, and we're not going to get specific because we have all age groups watching this, but the thing that you're stuck in, that you're dealing with, that you keep going, man, I keep getting stuck in that. The power is not in dwelling on or a five-step process on how to get out of that. It's much simpler. He says, repent, turn to me. The beautiful thing is, remember that zero distance thing I was just talking about? The actual distance is zero. So when we actually do repent, when we turn, we are, again, nose to nose, face to face, to face with the living God, who is a rewarder of those who seek after him. All right. I hope that's helpful for you. As always, we will be stream. well, not as always, but we will be streaming this afternoon. I hope to see you on there. Hope to see you in the Discord as well. If you have questions, want to talk more about it, leave comments below or jump into the Discord. We certainly talk about it there as well. In the meantime, happy gaming, and we'll see you next time.